So our tip of the week will be managing design options. And we're going to talk about three methods that you can use to manage these design options. They are save as. Um, this is actually a simple one. I'm not going to go into detail about this because it's pretty straightforward. Um, you have a design option you've created. You can go to the file menu. You go save as, and you save that as design option one. You then make some changes. You go to the file menu, you save it as, you save that as design two, and then you make a few more changes. You go to the file menu and you save that as design option three. So therefore, you have three individual files that have no relationship to each other anymore because they're individual files, although you could copy and paste between them, but each are their own uh, uh, individual files for each design option. Uh, another option you have to use is layer settings. And this can be used to, again, just like with the renovation, to manage the visibility of elements for each design option using layers. So in this case, I uh, go in, I create layers for uh, design option one and design option two. I go to my view settings, I save that, and then I assign as a layer combination as uh, option uh, facade option two, and then I save that into my uh, view set. And the third option, which is something that I think a lot of people don't realize is, is available in ARCHICAD, is really a very powerful tool for, for managing uh, design options, is the pin feature in the renovation palette. So you can actually go in and create renovation filters for different design options, and then pin those elements to the renovation filter. I'll kind of go through these two in more detail. So first is our layers, I, uh, much like the renovation, you know, you can go in, you can open up your layer settings to the option menu. You can then go into your uh, layer settings. You can create, uh, you know, design options and then an extension for each of these. So I can go in the layer names, create a design option uh, name for each design option. And then you uh, distinguish those design options by adding an extension one, an extension two, and an extension three. And then whenever, whenever you go to save that design option, of course, it's going to save it uh, with that layer combination selected. So if you have facade option two, that would then be available in my view settings. So the way you do that to manage this is in your layer combination. So once you create those design option layers, you then go to your, your layer combinations and you create uh, layer combinations to manage which layer is going to be on and off for that design option. So for example, if I know that uh, I need certain layers on and off over here. I'm going to go and I'm going to create this new layer called Facade Option 3. I'm going to turn uh, the Facade Option 3 layer on for this. And I'm going to turn it uh, off for the other layers. And once that's on, I'm then going to go down to my Update button below here. I'm going to click that and I'm going to update that layer combination so that in the future when I go to select it, that layer Design Option 3 is on. And all the other layers that want on or off are also uh, updated with that. Now you can also, as I mentioned, use the renovation tool to manage design options. This is something that, uh, as I mentioned, is not uh, 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 at first glance something that you would think about, but actually it's really powerful. And so if you've not opened the renovation palette before, you go to your window menu, you go to your palettes, and then open your renovation palette. Once that's open, you can open up by simply clicking the pop-up menu. I can open up then the renovation filter options. And the renovation filter options opens. And then select the existing plan or whichever of these you want to use. Uh, duplicate that. Give it a name. Go design option one. Go OK. And then you begin to select the elements that you want to assign to that design option. So in this case, if I want to uh, perhaps create a couple different facade options, I would select the elements in my 3D window or in your floor plan window or really any view you want to use. And then you would click this pin setting here. That's what this does. So when it's clicked as a pin, that means it's now assigned to that design option. So now if I were to click this design option from design option one to design option two, this information would go off, and now I can begin to uh, edit and create uh, new elements uh, for design option two. 
and then I could assign those or pin those to design option two. And so now in the future, whenever I go to my renovation palette, I've got the ones that are um, default in Archicap renovation. And then I also have my options available or the ability, the, the ability for me now to create design options using uh, the pin feature and then assign those to renovation filters in this renovation palette. 